I am back again. This time we're taking a deep dive into the Serie A's most overpowered cards at the start of FIFA 23. We turned up the Premier League earlier today. It is a Serie A's turn and I reckon this could be a solid shout man. It doesn't get too much love at the start of FIFA. A lot of people prioritise at the Premier League and the La Liga. Serie A might go under the radar a little bit but some of these cards are insanely, insanely saucy. So let's dive straight into it guys. Drop me a like if you're excited. Subscribe if you're new on the road to 7k. Herving Lozano is our first stop. Now, Mr. Lozano, three-star weak foot, four-star skills, pace, dribbling, ticking all the boxes, shooting isn't that bad to be fair, boys. Positioning looks lively. Cilia, Napoli, of course. Decent chem style on this man, potentially a marksman. Max out a bit of the physicals, the dribbling, and the shooting here. We can look incredible in game. 93 pace, 89 dribbling, 82 shooting. That is what I'm talking about. This man could be cooking your opponent's defenders. Up next, it is probably the staple right back for the Serie A. It is Lazari. You can't really go wrong with this. A right back with pace, decent defending and dribbling. What is not to like? High low work rates, maybe. You're not really defending much of a low work rate, but he's got the pace, so he should be able to trap back as long as you've got him on comeback on defense. Dribbling looks great as well for getting out of those tricky situations. The stamina's there. Defending, definitely a chem star to boost that up. Potentially a uh, an anchor if you want to get super dirty. Max out the pace, defending and physicals there. Uh, look at the state of that for a right back, boys. Shooting-wise, going forward isn't that bad. The passing's good as well. He's an absolute beast. 79 overall. Should get packed a lot. Should hopefully be affordable. On the other side, we have got a bit more of a premium option. It is Spinazzola. I'm pretty confident he's had a downgrade from last year. Correct me if I'm wrong, boys. But the pace is still there. The dribbling looks brilliant, minus the balance and the composure. Defending solid, physical solid. Passing stats great. And he's four star, four star for a left back. Yes, please. If three at the back is meta, this man could be sick as a box-to-box -box left midfielder. Definitely one I'm looking to try out next year. It is that time again, and he is, of course, back on our screens. Luis Murillo, it is your time to shine. Look at all the greens. Look at them. So consistent 80s to 90s across the board. Last year, he was sick. I've done a review on him. It was my first FIFA 22 review, and he was a lethal. Four-star, four-star high medium. Brilliant looking card. Atlanta as well. Some decent little links. Colombian. Colombian could be a sick little um, starter squad option, by the way. So many sick cards. Sinistella, for example. Uribe from the Liga Portugal. And this man. Yeah, lethal, lethal baller. I am happy to see Delefeu get an 80 overall centre forward, boys. Big position change. Reminds me of this team of the season moments of FIFA 22's position. Dribbling is fantastic. 91 agility, 85 balance. I'm pretty certain his body type feels good in the game as well. I'm not too sure what it is. It doesn't include it here. But high, medium, four star, four star. Shooting looks good. Pace looks good. Maybe even a Hunter Chem star to get super saucy with this man. I mean, there's loads of different alleyways. Hawk potentially if you want to boost the physicals up a little bit. But the physicals already look pretty solid. Passing looks nice. Spanish as well, if you want to link him up to La Liga teams, if you're doing that kind of uh, interesting hybrid squad. Of course, chemistry is different this year. Um, I'm sure the more videos you watch, the more you get your head around it, but it's pretty easy once you start building your own starter squads. But De La Feu, hopefully a cheap beast on FIFA 23. Now, a super under radar pick is Icone. Four star, three star. Essentially, pace and dribbling on this card. Shooting isn't all that bad. The position and shot power is there. And in previous years, he's been a great little starter card. I believe he played for Lille. In the league, good. not 100% sure on that. Now playing for Fiorentina, decent. I'm pretty sure he played for the same team as Solomon, uh, Solly Bamba. Uh, let me know, was it Solly Bamba? The Bamba, you know the foot fantasy card. I'm digging myself a hole here. Uh, I'm pretty sure he played for the same team, but this man looks great, should be affordable. French as well for hybrids, decent. Revic, man, this man. He gets massively overlooked, Revic, you know. But I reckon this year could be his year, man. You don't know what the game's going to be like. You don't know what kind of build is going to be meta. Four star, four star. He's got the pace. Brilliant shooting. That should definitely be awesome early game. He could be a striker as well, which is great for the, the uh, secondary positions. Dribbling does look decent. Agility and balance a little bit low. Not really super meta, though. Physical is looking great with the strength and aggression. An all-rounded beast, man. Probably better as a striker, realistically. Have all your wingers to be a little bit more quicker, a bit more agile, like Lozano, for example, running down the wing, whipping it into Rebic, and he's going to bag goals for you. This is a really interesting card, Nicolo Zaniolo. Right winger, right mid, and striker. Fantastic pace there. Positioning, the finishing looks great. Defensively, not that bad. Could play as like a box-to-box -box right mid in a free back. Pretty certain he was a camera centre mid last year. And yeah, he looked awesome, man. Really, really interesting looking card. Decent upgrade to an 81. With the right chem style, we could be having a field day. You could be feasting goals with this boy. Just a brilliant, brilliant card, man. Even with the Hunter, we get 95 pace, 81 shooting. 
I love it. Di Lorenzo in the building. If you want a bit more reassurance at right back over Lazari, this is your boy. Solid, solid card. Really well-rounded. Had a brilliant foot fantasy in FIFA 22. He's got that upgrade and he is looking spicy. A potential centre-back beast. I'm pretty certain Kim Min Jai played his football in the Turkish league last year. Got that move to Napoli, I believe it is now. Medium high, six foot two. Has the pace. The pace fit isn't ideal, but with like a shadow chem style. We're looking at 88 pace on the card, 86 defending. That is naughty for a 79 overall. Physically solid with a great strength and aggression. Really underrated card, but you're basically stuck to the Syria with this man. All Napoli players because Korea, not really too many options. To be fair, you got Hyun Min Sun, you got Ji Sung Park. There are decent options there, um, but obviously getting him in on full chem is going to be a struggle. But fantastic option if you're running that Syria starter team. Up next, we've got Adamola Lukman. Four star, four star. Bergamo Calcio, which is Atalanta. Same team as Muriel. Brilliant card. I forgot he moved that here, in all fairness. I thought he was still at Everton. Shooting looks fantastic. I think they juiced him up a little bit, in all fairness, because he wasn't this good in previous FIFAs. The dribbling looks great, minus the reactions for some reason. Four star, four star. Medium, medium. Eh, could be better. Pace is there. Looks like a great option. The only issue with this man is he's English in a foreign league like Italy. Premium for SBCs, especially if you're going to need English players. It tends to be the case that all English players outside of England tend to go for more money. That man may fall into this trap. But look at the state of this card, boys. For an 80 overall, it is phenomenal. So many dark greens on him. The pace is great. Going forward, the shooting's awesome. Three star, three star. Not incredible, but high, high work rate's ideal for a box to box centre mid. And that is where I would play this man. The only thing really letting him down is the agility and balance. Apart from that, Super well-rounded, really, really solid starter card. Juventus, it's a premium club as well for hybrids. You cannot go wrong with Weston McKenney. I tell you what, the Serie A are kitted out with centre-backs. 85 acceleration, 80 sprint speed. Ibanez, what a baller. Look at the defending, lads. 84 interceptions. This man's insane. 84 reactions. Medium high, six foot. Not the tallest, but great work rates. Phenomenal looking card. Going forward, shocking. The passing's a shambles. But you don't care about that, lads. Stick a shadow on this man. Look at that card. Just look at it. Big man Zambo Anguissa. Napoli's finest again. Absolute baller. When he was at Fulham, he looked decent. But he's just progressed and progressed and progressed. Really nice looking card in FIFA 23. Defensively solid. A great CDM option for your starter teams. Has the pace. Going forward, not all that bad. Link up play looks good. Should be solid. Hopefully not too clunky on the ball. The dribbling looks great. Medium low being a bit of an issue with the work rate. I guess he's going to be in the CDM spot. He's not really going to want to stray away from it, which is good. Three star, three star, six foot. A baller, in my opinion. And to round off the Serie A, we've got Ishmael Banasir. I'm not too sure if this is the ex-Arsenal boy. I think it might be. I'm not too sure, but he looks incredible. Four star, three star, high medium. Pace is there. The pace fit looks good. Defensively solid, 81 interceptions, 80 stand tackles. Physically good, minus the strength. He's got the aggression. But the dribbling, 86 on the base card. Yes, please. Anchor chem style on this man. You have an incredible looking starter CDM for your team. Algerian, I mean, it's nice if you want to get Italian there. Maybe Mares and mix it up a little bit. But Milan, there's some decent players playing for them. And he could go under the radar, lads. I'm not going to lie to you. He could slip under the radar. Let's wait and see. But that is going to round off the Serie A's overpowered cards, in my opinion. Somewhat on the cheap and budget side. Do let me know if there's a player I've missed out. Let me know if any of these boys are going to make your team. And let me know which league you want to see next. I've been more. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you soon.